Hi everyone! Today we're going to be talking about the top three sites to get mods in CC and how to install them and how to activate them to get our sims and our homes to look like that. To get our sims and our homes to look like that, first let's get the required items out of the way so we can have our beautiful sims and beautiful homes. So first, you will need some kind of decompressor. Um, so you can get WinRAR if you have a Mac computer. And it says buy, but you can just download it and the trial period is basically free forever. So even though it says only a trial period, it, it's yours. Don't worry about it. <laughs> And then even if you have windows, you can use this too. I think um, I use 7-zip is what I use to decompress my folders. So it doesn't really matter which one you have. If you if you have windows or Mac for WinRAR, it don't really, it doesn't really matter. You just need something to decompress your files. Well, for 7-zip, you can, they don't have a support for Mac, unfortunately, it's all just windows. But just know you're gonna need that and then we'll get into why later. The next thing that you will need is the XML injector. You don't necessarily need this, but I recommend you download it. It's created by Scumbumbo. Um, unfortunately, he has passed, but it is being kept up to date by other modders. Um, it just makes it so your mods are less likely to conflict with each other. Your script mods are less likely to conflict with each other. So it's just best to go ahead and grab that. And some mods will tell you that you will need this XML injector. So you might as well just go ahead, get it. So that way you don't have to worry about it later. For that, you download it. Um, you might as well go over where you put your mods at right now. So for this, you go to, sorry, not downloads. You go to this PC, um, documents, um, EA, the Sims 4, and then your mods folder. My, my mods folder is full of a bunch of stuff already, as you see, but you save it there and you're gonna see that it is a zip file. A lot of CC and mods are gonna be zip files. I'm gonna show you how to unzip it right quick. So let's see, I already have this, it already exists for me. So do you want to replace it? Let's just say yes for now. Go to where you saved your things. And then you want to right click on whatever it is. For me, it's 7-zip. For you, it'll be Renoir or whatever. And then you say extract files here. And it will, it will like, take the files from out of that folder. See, that's it. That's all it does is take the files out of that folder so it can be read by the game. Because if it's in there, the, the game won't recognize it. So you have to take it out so it can be recognized. Um, But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first site I want to talk about is The Sims Resource. It is a excellent, excellent place to get your um CC from. It has pretty much anything you can think of if you, if you want hair from The Sims Resource. Um, you got your male hairs, your female hairs, all that stuff. I want to find a retexture. Okay, so let's say if you have some hairs are retextured or recolored. So let's say you are trying to find a hair and it says hair retexture. Um, it will say mesh needed on there somewhere it may not say that in the beginning, but make sure you're reading what is required when you are trying to get when you're downloading NCC or mods. Um, for this one, it may be, so it tells you here in the description that the mesh is needed. Sometimes it'll tell you in the creator notes and sometimes they'll have a nice link in required to the hair that is needed and you can just click on it. If they don't have the link to it, you just go to wherever it is listed. You can click on the, you know, highlight, you can right click it to open in a new tab to get to the, um, to the hair that's needed, but it'll take you to the same place either way. But just in case they don't have that nice link, cause not everybody is nice enough to do that. You can go ahead and get the hair. So this is the original hair. And that's why you need it for the retexture. Cause it basically just adds a little something different to the original hair. So this is what the original hair looked like. And then this is what the retextured hair looks like. I don't really like the retexture. Sometimes you, got, you click on retextures and you're like, oh, I like the original hair more. I like the original hair more in this case, and I probably wouldn't get the retexture. I probably wouldn't bother with it. But the Sims resource is kind of divided into like different things. Sims 4, Sims 3, Sims 2, Sims 1. So if you have any of the Sims games, you can get something from here. Um, a lot of people like to click on the featured creations because you most of the time those are actually working and a lot of people like it for a reason. I don't really, I kind of just go and look what I'm looking for that day. And I got to be honest with you, this can be a hole that you can easily fall in deep, deep into because you can find pretty much everything you can 
anything you pretty much need for your sims if you want like wall panels or something for walling for your sims for your house you can get that if you need toddler stuff make your toddlers a little cuter you can you can get that if you want a whole sim you can get that too <laughs> The Sims resource has updated a couple things. So like they have VIP thing, which means you have to pay $4, I think a month. So you won't have to have any wait times. Wait times is about, wait times are, is about 15 seconds. Um, but if you get an account, you can get a free account with them. If you get a free account, I think it allows you to follow your favorite creators and everything, which is good in all honesty, because if you can follow them, then you kind of know when they update stuff and when they put, when they put something new out and all that kind of stuff, which is good. I don't know if they allow you to have a basket of free account or not. I, I didn't bother with it, but when you're in the Sims resource, you can download here is going to be this purple little button here in the corner. It's going to be a bunch of ads. I don't have ad, I have ad blocker on right now. So I apologize for that. You have to have the pop-up. If you have a pop-up blocker, you have to have your pop-up blocker off of this because it will not allow you to download here if you do if you have a pop-up blocker on. And then you say download and then you can save it wherever you save it. it my computer asks me where I want to save it most of the time. For most people, it's going to go straight to their download folder. Um, like right now, it's telling me, hey, you want to put this in your downloads folder? And I'm like, no. So usually for my folder, I have a new CC folder. So if you have CC that you want to put, as you can see, my, my CC folder is full of crap that I, sh that I know works, but I just haven't moved them to their appropriate places. Please move your stuff to, to the appropriate places, especially if you already have things in your folder, because you can wind up downloading something and it can be a duplicate and it will cause your game to crash sometimes if you have duplicate items. So just be careful with that. But the reason why you want to have a new CC folder is because sometimes certain items does not work or it will cause your game to crash or, you know, it'll cause some errors. If you have a new CC folder, you kind of put all your junk in here, all your new stuff in here. If it's not working, you can kind of cut the folder in half, put it, place all the stuff in the, the first half of the folder in a, a new folder and then test if that half is working. But you want to be able to, um, take all these items. You want to split it in half. So let's say you want to split it in half so you can figure out if what's not, what's causing your game not to work. Um, I got way too much stuff in here, but this is about halfway down the page. You make a new folder, you put that, you place those, these, this half in a new folder and then you take it out of the mods and see if the second half is working. If this half is working, then you take this half out, put that half in and then just keep having it until you figure out which mod or which CC is causing your game to not work. Okay. So usually while I am waiting for the thing to be downloaded, I'll go down to wherever I was at and they'll give me some suggestions by the same creator or they'll give me similar items. So I'm like, cool. Oh, do I like this hair? And this is basically what I'll do. And this is how you get stuck in the hole of the Sims resource. Cause you'd be like, oh, well, while I'm waiting for that to download, let me go look at this other thing. But you'll wind up with a lot of CC and a lot of things that you'd be like, oh, let me try this. And unfortunately your, your, your CC folder tends to be over full with crap that you, you probably won't ever use. <laughs> look, it tends to be over full with crap that you probably won't ever, ever, ever use. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna download this right quick. Oh, you can download all with a click. That's actually really cool now. But anyway, the second site I like really using is Simsdom. Simsdom is a great site. Um, there's a couple people I tend to like to download more from over here, but anything you can think of, I tend to like to get a lot of my toddler stuff from here. Um, so like if I wanted a pacifier for my toddler, Oops, I spelled that so incorrectly. <laughs> I don't know why I added an extra I. It's like, what are, you, what are you talking about? So make sure you spell correctly. <laughs> but let's say you wanted a pacifier for your toddler and you was like, hey, let me see what I can get. They have a lot of those over here. If you want a actual bassinet, I think, for your toddler, you can get that. You can get the whole thing where you have to put it together so you can get get that one and you know the baby's not attached to the uh the, the bassinet so there you go um if you want your little toddlers to to look cute so eyelashes they got like a lot of little toddler items oh that's so cute 
a lot of little things to make your, your toddlers look a little cuter because you know Sims 4, Sims 4 toddlers are cute but you know they can lose a little bit more spiffing up let's just be honest they can lose a little bit more spiffing up there so anything you can think of for your toddlers you can get this here if you want you know your your sim to look like a doll for your stories you can get a skin that make your your doll look like i mean your sim look like a doll okay maybe not over here yeah so if you want if you want your sim to look like a doll for your stories you can get a skin that make your sim look like a doll if you want your sim to look like a robot for your stories you can get a skin that make your sim look like a robot so anything that you can pretty much think of for your sim you'll be able to find it between the sims resource and sims them another site i like to use is mod the sims this is where i get a lot of my mods from sorry let me go back to sims them right quick before i go, go over there sims them the thing about sims them is a lot of the times there is a slight wait time for getting to the download option so let's say you want to download something it can be longer it could be anywhere between three and 15 seconds to download something um it tends to take you to a different site it tends to take you to the creator site so it may not it's not necessarily on here um you have the option of saying you whether or not you want to go there if it's patreon i don't have a problem with that you know you just go ahead and download from patreon and usually they have a um usually they either use sims file share or they use so that was a direct download but sims file share is a a, a type that a lot of creators use to content creators use to um share their uh content and, and google drive is another one media fire is one that is used quite a bit you, you're taking a risk with that one a little bit um i recommend you not click on any ad fly links it's the best thing to just stay away from ad fly links for your the health of your computer and of your sanity <laughs> so just don't click on any ad fly links when you're um trying to download anything Okay, but another site I like to use is Mod The Sims. It is broken down into Sims 2, 3, and 4. So you click on Sims 4. Usually it'll have it, because you know, popular recently is Sims 4, of course, because this newer game. So that's usually already outlined. Um, it'll tell you the most popular mods, the recently uploaded mods in CC. Um, you go to the featured stuff that's uh, at the bottom. I don't know why the feature stuff is at the bottom. It's featured. It doesn't make sense, but whatever. <laughs> Look, but whatever. Um, or where you can discover a lot of modders that you like and you wind up going to the websites. Or same thing with Sims Resource. There's a lot of simmers that you can find over there that you'll find that you like. Um, you can search up here for anything you may need. Let's say you want a desk for the Sims. You have yeah it'll tell you to welcome all that stuff but let's say you want a desk for the sims they have whole pack stuffs by the way so you can get a whole pack of stuff they have a so sometimes with items like i was saying with the hairs with the recolors and the retextures um they have things that's here like that is a retexture or a recolor of a of a a maxis or you know a, a item created by another um content creator so they'll usually tell you if you need something like this one says you, it is required for you to have the vintage glamour stuff pack and some people are kind enough on mother sims to put this nice yellow warning up here with some nice other extra things to say hey you need this thing in order for it to work then you know make sure you follow that so you have to have that in order for this to appear in your game because if you don't have it it is not going to appear in your game and please just read the directions of the creators they'll tell you what you need and where to find where the items go once you place them in your mods folder so you know just make sure you 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 follow what they say as far as um downloading things but anyway when you download they'll tell you what you need for it um uh, make sure you kind of just look through it to see where stuff is in the thing like it tells you you can easily find thing in the pack by searching for simsy 45 or teen style so this is how you how you can find everything that you need while in build mode in the game you can find all these items in the game so make sure you read it so that way you can you won't be looking through the whole build mode trying to figure out where your cc for your stuff went because i've done that 
I'm still looking for something. Have no idea where it is, and I forgot where I downloaded it from. So don't be like me. <laughs> but when you're ready to download it, you come up to the top, you go to files. Um, it'll tell you, since it was in two parts, it'll tell you what you need. So this is the, it's in two parts because the second part requires the vintage glamour. The first part doesn't. So that way you won't need to have vintage glamour for the first part. Over here is just kind of like pictures of the items and everything. So you can kind of have an idea of what you're downloading, if you want it or not, yada, yada, yada. And then it's usually comments. So that way you can kind of have, you can, you can tell a person thank you and all that kind of stuff. But also sometimes this stuff is outdated and you're, and you're not sure if it's outdated or not. If you, if you're not sure if you want to get it because you're not sure if it's outdated, just kind of look at the comments. See the last time somebody commented on it, see if what they're saying. Cause sometimes they'd be like, Hey, this is outdated. Um, it hasn't been updated in a while and it's causing issues with the game. So just kind of, you know, peek at the comments right quick sometimes and be like, hey, what's, what's going on with that? But this, but we know that this was posted recently, so that's not an issue. But if you see something that's been posted a while ago, like maybe six months plus ago, just kind of look at them comments and be like, is this, is this good? <laughs> or has it been recently updated? I mean, this is a this is just a pretty much a good place to kind of go to get a lot of your mods from. And it's a good place to get a lot of your... And ooh, there are more stuff packs, but you can get um, your mods as well as your CC from here. So let's say you want eyes, you can get eyes. Of course, I'm not going to say it's as expensive as uh, the Sims resource or a Sims them, but you can get quite a few things from here. You can get lips if you want some lips or some makeup. Yep. So. Yeah, you get a lot, quite a few things for mod The Sims, but it's mostly for mods. But like I said, you can get a lot of CC as well. But yeah. So I recommend that you organize your mods and your CC in something. This is how I organize mine, by clothes, hair, um, what goes in the house. And then it's further organized by what kind of set it is, or if it's like, this is by specific people or what, you know, would it fit what it falls under like flooring doors things like that i think custom content could go up to four folders deep so like i said this is only one folder deep and then if i put this here then this is two folders deep from the from the mods uh folder so just be careful uh script mods don't really i don't think you can put script mods in there i think script mods have to be i think script mods have to be out here in the mods folder you might be able to put it like one extra folder deep but that's about it look that's about it because i think i got yeah i got some script mods over here so please don't do that when you get to script mods please don't try to put it any deeper it's it's just it just won't work just being honest Look, now that you've kind of gotten your game and everything, I'm going to tell you how to activate your mods. This will not pop up the first time you have your mods and everything or after a after you or after you updated the game. If you've updated the game recently, what's going to happen is you'll have to go to options, game options, and then other. You're going to have to click enable cable custom content and mods and then enable script mods. So this is going to be unchecked for you, but you have to click on it. It's going to say, hey, the game needs to be restarted for this change to take effect. So you might as well go ahead and click that. Anytime, you, uh, if, anytime you're adding custom content to the game, make sure you have the game closed because it will not appear in the game until you restart it. So make sure you just have the game closed anytime you are adding custom content to the game. Alrighty, so that is pretty much all I have for you today. Um, please write any questions or any comments you want to make below. I hope you enjoy making whatever stories you decide to make for your Sims. I hope this was at least helpful so you can beautify your Sims and get your mods to create all your wonderful stories for them. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I hope you join me next time.